guys, thank you so much for joining me today on Cooking Therapy with Ari. I'm so excited to finally be back in my kitchen baking for you guys. I've been MIA for about three weeks or so. I've been transitioning to a new role at my job, so now that I can finally breathe, I'm excited to show you this new recipe dedicated to fall time because fall is my favorite season out of the entire year and I just love everything about it. The scarves, the layers, the boots, the leaves, pumpkins. I mean, there's nothing not to love. So I, of course, am gonna be showing you today a pumpkin dessert recipe. It's a triple layered pumpkin pie. And I'm not a huge fan of like the regular pumpkin pie. I think it's just too pumpkin-y and it's all one note. And so what's great about this recipe is that you have three layers of different levels of pumpkin flavor, which is really nice. And we're topping it with Cool Whip, so you get that light, creamy freshness. And it's delicious. So I'm really excited to be showing you this today. Um, I got it from Craft Recipes Online, and what they call for is the six ounce big graham cracker pie crust. And about a year ago, I actually found the mini graham cracker pie crust, and they're just so cute. Like, why wouldn't you want your own little pie? And it's portioned, so even more of a reason why you need to go and get these. So you're not going to need an oven at all for this recipe, so you can go out, get these ingredients, and make it within 15 minutes. So let me show you exactly what you're going to need in order to make these. One package of pumpkin spice jello pudding powder an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, one cup of cold milk, three fourths of a cup of Cool Whip, some pecans, and Keebler's mini graham cracker pie crusts. Okay, so what you're also gonna need is two Ziploc bags because what we're gonna do is use those for piping the different layers. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later, but you could use a cup to put the Ziploc baggie inside so it's easy to transfer the filling in here, and then we use that as our piping bag. So we're gonna take our Jell-O pudding powder, put that in a bowl, Smells so pumpkin-y, I love it. So we're gonna add to that our cinnamon and our one cup of cold milk. So this is gonna make two of our layers. I'm just gonna whisk that together. So we're gonna take pretty much half of this filling and we're gonna put it into one of the piping bags. So like I said, you could just take a Ziploc bag if you don't have a piping bag at home and put it into a cup so it's just easy to transfer. I'm gonna use a spoon because I don't want to make a huge mess. because to this, we're gonna add some Cool Whip as our middle layer. So I'm just going to put this one aside for now. And put together our second layer. Okay, and then to this, we're going to add about I don't know if we're gonna put all of this Cool Whip, but we will see how much we put. I'm gonna put in half. And it's all, you know, based on how much pumpkin flavor you want in the middle. But again, we want the three different flavor levels. So I'm gonna mix this together. So I think that's pretty much it. I just wanna taste it. Mm, I think that's perfect. 
So I didn't put all of the Cool Whip in there because we're actually gonna use this as our topping. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to the first layer. Put that in to a Ziploc bag. These Ziploc bags are so great to use as piping because you don't have to go out and get, you know, the professional piping bags. Just use something very cheap that you could find anywhere and that you'll have on hand. So you want to make sure you squeeze this all the way down so that there really aren't any air bubbles in there. You could always tie this with a rubber band so that it doesn't come out to the top. But since there's not too much in there, I think we'll be okay. Okay, so now that we have our two fillings and our topping, now we can go ahead and assemble our little miniature pies. So let's do one together. We're gonna do our pumpkin the main pumpkin base on the bottom. I'm gonna take a scissor and just cut a small cut right there. It doesn't have to be perfect because all you're doing is filling the inside here. Okay, so that's our first layer. our second layer and then we're gonna take our cool whip for the top make sure that this is thawed because it's easy it's easier to spread on the top if it's like you just got it out of the freezer it's not gonna spread as well and if you don't want to wait like I just did I didn't want to wait so I actually put it in the microwave for about like seven seconds just to thaw it out And there you go. Look how cute and easy that was. And of course, we're gonna top it with my favorite pecans. How cute. So what we're gonna do is put these in the fridge for about an hour just to let it set. And then after that, we're gonna eat. Okay guys, our pies are finally done. I made a couple more and I had them in the fridge for the full hour. You can definitely stretch out this recipe into the six pie crust that the package comes with. And if you wanna do the full six ounce pie, all you have to do is double the recipe. So obviously I had to get in the fall time mood. So I have my pumpkin spice candle burning and our beautiful little miniature triple layer pumpkin pies and I'm ready to taste. Let's dig into this guy. And you can see actually the three layers that we have here. The pumpkin, the pumpkin with the Cool Whip, and then the Cool Whip topping. Oh, it's so good. The Cool Whip topping is so great because it just adds that coolness and that lightness and that freshness that you want out of a pie. And having the three different pumpkin flavor levels is exactly what you want. You don't want everything to just be one no and for the pumpkin to just hit you in the face. Unless you do like that, then that's fine. But I like having the variation of pumpkin flavors in the pie. It really makes such a difference. And having the pecans on top gives it an extra texture. 
And look, it's so cute. It's a tiny little pie for yourself. And you can set a little candle next to you and just think about fall time and reminisce about the good old days. Thank you so much guys for watching today. I hope you go and celebrate fall time with me and make this delicious, quick and simple recipe. And now I'm gonna need some more alone time with my pie and my candle. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.